I just wanted to tell you I put myself back on a dating app. Here's what I'm doing differently. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm doing differently. Is I am not looking for matches. I am waiting for the matches to come to me, right? So then if they like me, and it's only on one app, it's a free app. If they like me and I think it's a match, I'll like them back. And then I wait for them to do the conversation. <laughs> I wait for them to start. It's like crickets. They don't start. I'm not starting the conversation, people. It's kind of like if you open the door for me. No, wait, that's a bad analogy. It's kind of like if you wave to me and I wave back, you're waving to me because you want to start a conversation, I would think, but you're not. You're just hanging out. I don't care. I'm just going to wait. It sounds like you're trying to be hard to get, but all you're getting is a great view of your own dead town. People might move a little faster if you open the door instead of just waiting behind it. It's not always enough to just wave back to start a chat. Sometimes you have to put in some work too. Hey everyone, nice to see you again. Older women are bitter because men are going their way. Let's get started right away. I've been single my entire life. My entire life. I'm going to be turning 42 in August. And I've never had anybody love me or desire me or want to be with me. Um, and I have so much love that I feel like that is inside of me with nowhere to go because it can't transfer to friends or my family or my parents because it's something separate, it's something different. And I've gathered all of this love since I was in high school and then it just sits there and it eats me alive sometimes. And I'm bringing this up, oh my gosh. I just slammed my hand off of that. Uh, sorry, I'm bringing this up because I'm lonely and sad and the world is hard and horrible. And I was thinking this morning that like no one's laid next to me in bed. I've never had the comfort of someone's arms around me. Um, when I've had difficult moments, I've gotten through them by myself most of the time. Now I have a beautiful family of brothers and my mother and my dad when he was alive and I love them and I'm grateful for them. But there's something different about having somebody that's there for you, next to you, with you, and it's a different kind of loneliness if you've been single all of your life. And I know that there are people who get this, there are people who follow me that get this. But I was thinking about it in terms of just bigger worldly issues as well. The fear of the world and the difficulties that we are seeing. And again, this is minuscule on the level of what some people are facing. But it doesn't mean that it's nothing. And I have to figure out how to deal with these feelings. But the idea that like I don't go home and, and somebody's there to talk with and cook dinner with and... Um, I have a roommate, but we do our own things. We have our own lives. And again, it's not the same. It's not the same. And I'm always told sometimes as a single person that um, it's not easier on the other side. And so I guess I just wanted to say to people um, who get this feeling that you're not alone. And I know that it's difficult, but I also know that there's a certain type of strength that has been developed that I have because of my experiences in my life that has led me to be able to to do difficult things. And it's difficult being alone um, and it's okay to feel lonely and it's okay for it to feel hard and scary. Um, so just know that you're not alone and know that I see you and I'm there with you. And I'm still seeking to find ways to make it easier for myself. And I really, really do wish to make it easier for others. So if you're lonely, know that I'm sorry and know that I'm sitting in the lonely with you. I hope you have a good day, everybody. Even though she says she's never been with someone, that doesn't mean she hasn't been getting laid. That's why most women end up being single. Because they give up too easily, which makes their promise less important. It is really sad. Feminism tricks a lot of women who don't even know it, since most women have about ten times more chances to find love than men do. They drop the ball, which is why they end up alone. The average woman has more bodies than the average man. Today's story is about a British spinster who has to deal with this M.G. Tao truth. The subject of the piece asks, Why can't a beautiful middle-aged woman like me find a good man? 
58-year-old divorcee who is desperate for a new relationship, has tried out many suitors with hilariously bad results. The title makes it sound like this grandmother is a beauty. That is, if she is really 58 years old. The real title should be Why a Tired Triple Poster Wall Spinster Can't Find a Good-Looking, Successful Guy to Marry Her. Talk about why you're pretty but never get asked out. The first reason why is a lot of boys are scared of rejection. They might seem confident, but they are actually really terrified of it. That's why a lot of guys go for the seven or eights, not the nines and tens. It's possible that guys aren't afraid of being turned down. They're just looking for someone who is bold and real, not just interested in how they look. You can connect with someone better if they are more than just pretty. Are there no high value men where you live or are you just not able to attract them? Because honestly, this is what everyone says. There's no high value man in my city. There's no one good. But if everyone says that, how could it be true? Whenever we say, oh, there's no one, we're just blanketing a statement to get ourselves off the hook. If you were to redo your dating profile, grab my freebie, the link's in the bio, online dating profile mistakes you're making that are keeping you single. I guarantee you, you would attract more high value men because it's just impossible given the numbers that there's no one good where you live. Like that would mean every single person where you live, all the men are losers. That just makes no sense at all. You just need to learn how to attract them. And I can teach you. I have a free dating strategy guide tonight. Um, it's a masterclass, totally free. Message me for deeds or... Is it correct to say that every woman who hasn't found a high-value man is just clueless about how to attract one and needs your freebie and masterclass to learn? That's very kind of you. But let's face it. If all it takes to find good guys is a sales pitch and a magic profile tweak, then maybe the problem isn't with every woman. Giving dating advice that fits all is like putting paint on a pig. It might make things look better, but it won't change what's really wrong. Not all cities are full of dream guys, and not all people want what you have to offer. On the other hand, you are at least trying to make money off of other people's dating problems. I've never seen such a hustle before. Here are some ways that I would shut down and shame a misogynistic asshole. Wow, that's not a question or behavior that I would expect from someone who is secure in their masculinity. I'm so disappointed because I really thought you were a strong, respectable man. I never needed you to be perfect, but I never expected you to be so weak. Now I see why you're so insecure. And if they're going really low and you need to go to hell, these ones. I usually go for looks, but I was trying something different with you and I don't think I will again. You have the confidence of a much taller, more attractive man. Always go for the ego, never talk about your feelings, and Happy insulting. I'm a selfish pig again. There's a change. You tried, though. Attack his pride. You don't know anything about how I feel. That's why everything you said made me laugh. Don't worry, though. I am going to teach you. You don't go after your pride. You like to feel insecure. That left one is really droopy, isn't it? Hey, when is the baby coming? Don't feel bad, okay? I love your shirt. Did the $1 store have it? That's great. You look pretty good in it, though. I also like your used or thrift store shoes. Also, if you want to get really low, the nose ring is great. If I see one more national boyfriend post, I'm actually going to f***ing lose. But in like a good way, if that makes sense. Like, you know when you see the TikToks and it's like a cute couple and all the comments are like, so happy for you guys. That's me in the background on the road about to get hit by a car. Like, those things, whatever. But so happy for you guys and I just wish that I could be experiencing that happiness too. Just don't cry, weirdo. But like, being in a relationship is so like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But like, bro, on a real note, I'm so happy for you guys and I just want to love someone. Like, I don't even care if I'm being loved. Like, I just want to, I don't know. And I'm so sick of being alone. Like, oh my God, I'm so alone. And all my girlfriends are like, yes, girl, but like, you're focusing on yourself. Like, focus on yourself. There's nothing else to focus on. Like, I am so complete. I am so whole. I know myself so well. I love myself so much. I just want an addition onto my life. Like, in a, like I just want someone to be added on and someone to like be complete with. It's not even like I need someone to complete me, like I'm already completed, but like I just want, like, I'm alone. Like, 
fucking A. I've been alone, like, so alone for two years. But, like, it's whatever. I'm not gonna cry or dwell on this, but, like, I'm just, like, on a real note, I'm actually so happy for you guys. And if you guys are actually in a good relationship, I'm so happy for you. There's just some days, like, above others where I just wish that I could, like, experience that. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. But yeah, that's it. That's the video. Maybe it's the Gemini in me. I don't know. Bye. <laughs> I'm okay. I lied. There was a lot of money spent on medicine that doesn't seem to work. Have you thought about something else? Something new? In the past two years, have you thought about putting down your phone and TikTok and trying to find someone? You should be able to find a guy without much trouble. I'm afraid you'll have to give up TikTok and everything you worked hard on. You finish whatever you're doing. No, you're not. To let people know you like the show, click the like button. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Check out more videos of people hitting walls by coming back to this page.